All righty. Okay, first off, I'm fighting all of my viewers. All of you, I am fighting you. Um, I, this is personal beef between you and I now. No, I'm kidding. Um, but you guys really did it. Okay, you went out and you bought all season fast lane to the point where Canada's Wonderland is officially sold out of all season fast lane for the first time ever. Okay? And you want to know what's even funnier about this whole thing? I've been sitting here promoting All Season Fast Lane on my YouTube channel for two weeks now, holding off on getting All Season Fast Lane because Craig and I were spending the first two weeks literally filming contents left, right, and center. No time to ride rides. Anyone who's hung out with us can vouch for that. And here I was going to purchase All Season Fast Lane today, finally, tonight. And the website tells me, sold out. So now I don't have all season fast lane because y'all went and got it. Anyways, that aside, honestly, congratulations to anyone who got the deal. Um, hopefully, maybe Canada's Wonderland adds a few extras. I know that the website has a specific amount, and maybe they'll add a few extras just because the website hit the number. So keep an eye on the website. You know I am. Um, but nonetheless, there are more updates coming. So Canada's Wonderland is not going to be open till 10 p.m. anymore, starting on Saturday. Unfortunately, what looks like, again, this is my opinion, and it's coming from me. This is not coming from the park. That Canada's Wonderland could be facing staffing issues similar to their sister parks in America. Um, and that's probably why they're not going to be open till 10 p.m. and sticking to the 8 p.m. closes now. Um... And yeah, I mean, I was really looking forward to the 10 p.m. closes because I work until 7 every day. So I was going to pop on into Wonderland at night and use our my all-season fast lane, which I do not have because all of you went and got it. Um, I'm not bitter, I promise. I'm actually really ecstatic about it because it's honestly really good because one all-season fast lane is technically four gold season passes. So that's a lot of sales that Canada's Wonderland has made this season. And when I was at the park today, it like you could tell that fast Fastlane was pretty busy. Behemoth was almost all the way up to the entrance of Behemoth, the main entrance. So good on Wonderland. Good on all of you who got the deal. And uh, yeah, so we have 8 p.m. closes. All season Fastlane sold out. There are signs to Halloween Haunt Prep at the park. Um, I didn't want to film any of it quite yet because I'm not sure. They're also placing some of the Winterfest gazebos um, in the park already. So that was pretty interesting. There's one over by King's Feast. Um, and it doesn't serve a purpose for anything right now, and there's no shows coming to it. So I could, or I would like to, is the key word there, biased interest in this reporting. Um, I would like it to mean that Winterfest is happening this year. I have no reason or no doubts that it won't. Um, but obviously Wonderland hasn't made an announcement on that. But I really wanted to put that in this video, that it does look like, and there are some small signs that, Halloween Haunt and Winterfest could be happening at Canada's Wonderland. Fingers crossed. Outside of that, um, indoor dining does not look like it's going to return to Canada's Wonderland this season. It does look like it's due to staffing issues. Um, if it does, then they've obviously been able to hire, hopefully with the reduction in CRB, um, that more people will start looking for some jobs now. And Wonderland is definitely a superior hiring facility right now in terms of hiring a lot of people. So if you're looking for a job, definitely apply at canadaswonderland.com. Um, with that said, indoor dining is not look like it is going to return. The 40th anniversary merch store is not open yet. Squishmallows are selling out. So if you want them, go to the front entrance store. They are sold there. We get a lot of questions about those on Instagram. So I just wanted to throw that in this video. Um, it does not look like Sledgehammer will be operational this season, nor Riptide. Um, both rides seem to be in an uh, inactive state. Um, Boo Blasters, uh, sh I have no idea. It should be operational, but again, due to staffing issues, it's probably not open. And same with Wonder Mountain's Guardian. I do know the park has said that it's due to the ride being indoor, but you can't ignore the fact that Thunder Run is just as indoor as some of these other rides. So, um, I mean... Yeah, it's, it's quite sad. A lot of companies are facing it. I work in the restaurant industry, and I can tell you we're all facing it as well. So this isn't Wonderland's issue. This is happening across North America. So, um, again, when you are at the park, they are facing staffing issues. So if you are waiting longer for food or you are having a bad experience at a ride or anything, please keep that to yourself. This is a unique season. Anyone that knows the business world knows that this isn't 
solely Canada's Wonderland. This is every company. So anywhere you go, actually, this is a cry for any business. You are there and you see them stressed and understaffed and it's taking longer for you to get anything. Um, just show a little empathy right now. Don't complain. Just deal with it. This is just the new normal right now. But I do have to say, with that being said, I am thoroughly impressed with Canada's Wonderland. I have definitely seen long lines for food, but knowing what's going on and having an understanding and some, you know, bias in the industry, I do know that this isn't their fault and that they are doing their best. And Every time we've had to wait even 15 minutes for our food, we have been apologized to. So, and the apology isn't needed. We aren't in a rush. So, again, the customer service at Canada's Wonderland this season has been exemplary, in my opinion. But, again, we put out politeness. And when you put out politeness, you're probably going to get it back. If you put out negative energy, you're probably going to get negative energy back. It's all about you and how you make that moment. So, I definitely recommend going with friends. I definitely re recommend the water bottle. Again, oh, seriously, can we actually pause? Pause. For any of my viewers watching this video, please drink water while you are at this park. Bring a water bottle. They have water bottle fill stations. Get the drink plan. It's literally $39 like, after tax, $37 after tax all season, all the way until Labor Day next year. Get that. And get the water at the pop station instead of pop because I am seeing people fainting at Canada's Wonderland due to dehydration. And it's just so unnecessary. Just drink water, guys, please. It's so simple. And I know in the excitement and waiting in lines and talking to your friends, you can forget to drink water. But it is so important with this heat and the air quality to drink water right now. So please, if all of you could just promise me one thing, um, I don't want to see anyone that you know is watching my channel or anyone in general. So if you have friends going, give them this advice as well. Just drink water, please. Just promise me that. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. My last bit of advice, if you didn't see my Splashworks video, if you did not get a Splashworks reservation because they are booked up, go on over to Splashworks' main entrance into Splashworks and you can join a wait list to get into Splashworks that day if people don't show up for their reservation. So definitely that's one extra step um, in order for you to be able to get into Splashworks and get a reservation if you weren't able to. Um, I don't know how efficient or successful that is. But I just wanted to pass that advice on. If you have any other questions that I have been unable or didn't get to in this video, please drop them down below. I will try and respond to anything that I know of. If I do not respond to your question, I may not know the answer. And I don't want to say something that I don't know fully um, to you guys and mislead you. Um, that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and subscribing to this channel. It honestly means a lot. We have had some of our strongest subscriber growth um, and just views growth going on right now. So I'm just super appreciative. And trust me, I am working on even better content. I want to elevate this channel to something that I never thought possible. And just that my personal growth and the channel's growth is just super... It's just so rewarding to see it. And just your guys' honestly feedback and just compliments and just it's just it's just been so overwhelming and it's just honestly been amazing and i never expected it to get to this point and you're motivating me there's a video i'm working on that i thought would come out today when this video is being posted i'm going to delay it a bit because there's specific footage i want to get to explain certain ride safety elements again i need you guys' help when this video does drop i would like your help to spread this video because Canada's Wonderland is being attacked on TikTok and social media. I'm using the word attacked. It's not that deep, but there are videos going around painting the rides at Wonderland is unsafe, and I can guarantee you they are not unsafe. I'm going to release a video on why they are safe, what you are seeing on social media with the rides stopping. It is completely normal, and that's the ride safety feature working. Um, and even in worst case scenarios, the ride is still performing its safety features when you see some of these videos of the ride. So please look out for that video. It should be coming out in the next five days max, um, just because I'm going to put a little extra effort into this. And we're going to do a giveaway um, for sharing, liking, and commenting on it, just because I want this video to get out, just to help clarify some misinformation. I can't be mad at the people who think these rides are unsafe. I just want to help educate them. It's the same way when I bring my car in when it makes a noise. I have uh, no idea what's going on. I think that my car is like on complete utter breakdown, but in reality, it's literally like, oh, your bearing just needs a quick replacement. So it's the same thing. 
I specialize in theme parks and roller coasters. I know a little more, so I'm able to help educate people to the best of my ability, the same way someone who is interested in cars is able to educate me on cars and simple problems that go wrong with them. Again, thank you so much for watching the channel and supporting. Have a great one, guys. Hopefully you're having an amazing week. Get your reservations to Canada's Wonderland. It is totally worth it. And I don't mean to put a little negative spin on this. We are down to literally a month and like a week or two left of summer at Canada's Wonderland. So get those reservations in. It is worth it. It is safe. It is fun. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.